When two women meet, they recognize each other as similar. They create an instant pair bond. They have something in common. They are women. Women are part of a group called women. And women the world over immediately recognize one another as part of that group. Women are the in-group. And men are the out-group. This is called automatic in-group bias. The ability to automatically see oneself as part of a specific group, and in this case, the group is a group called women. Researchers have known for over 10 years that women the world over will experience this phenomena with one another. Every single one. Women feel an immediate kinship and have an understanding that this other woman has shared experiences. This creates an immediate sense of intimacy and trust. One of the best joys in life and one of the greatest comforts and privileges women experience is being a part of this glorious sisterhood. A profound understanding that you're there to help another sister out. In 2004, a study published in the American Psychological Association studied women from multiple cultures and backgrounds and found that 100% of the women studied exhibited this phenomena, known to social scientists as automatic in-group bias. Now that you know what automatic in-group bias is, and you know that all women experience it to some degree with other women. How much automatic in-group bias do you think men have? Before you pick, consider these facts. In human societies, the more dominant a group is, the greater the in-group bias. Like when a sports ball team wins the Quidditch Cup and the whole town shows up to the parade wearing team colors. Men are more dominant as a group, but men also tend to be less social. So, do you think that men have less or more automatic in-group bias?